guys cal here bringing you another video this one going to be town hall or builder hall 5 once again we just finished all our buildings so we use this new base we got online i'll put the link in the description below but right now we're pretty full on elixir and gold so we're going to go straight into our barbarian upgrade here um with our gold, I think we're going to upgrade, we can go for a few attacks so we can upgrade this multi-mortar. I think that's going to be the best use of our gold right now. Um, because I'll just be using a lot of it. We could be going for elixir collectors for the five hours. Um, but I think we do just kind of want to get our defense up a bit. Just so that we can get some more trophies, getting us more loot overall. So, we're going to go and hit one raid, hopefully get a dub with this new base. And, uh, yeah, just with this new base. Because uh, we usually don't get that good of raids in the beginning. But that's usually because our base was a bit weak for the amount of trophies we have. Now that we have an internet base that's well designed, hopefully we can get this 50% and then just go straight into uh, a victory. For the most part, I'm just going for high percentage one stars, even though this one isn't very high percent. I'm mostly just going for the one star as in our current trophy range, yeah, people are really not attacking this base well. Uh, we're going to drop this mortar right now with our gold. We might lose a few defenses now that the mortar is down. The mortar was pretty important to our strategy, but we're going to keep on trying to get these 50% and getting a consistent one star. And that's kind of what I'm thinking is the strategy right now, especially with our barbarians and this low, uh, well, and with how difficult it is to get uh, two stars at Builder Hall 5. For the most part, for most people, I found it quite uh, common that they don't get two stars unless they come in with like an actual strategy. Here we have someone with a battle machine. We don't have our battle machine yet, but if you see again, we are not having an opponent that is trying to two star us. It seems once again, we're having a one star battle, which we're going to be losing if we had the multi mortar. Uh, we definitely would have won this one, but we knew that going in, that upgrading the multi mortar might make it a bit difficult for us to get uh, our next victory. And that's just how it is. They're going to end with 70 something percent, 73. And I don't think they'll get much more percent, but we're going to end it on a loss. But again, very difficult to get a two star. So at Builder Hall 5, I think as long as you're going for one stars. Ooh, but if you can get a two star, I think we can get a two star here. It might be difficult uh, based on the pathing. I do want to use the bomber, but I know the bomber is bait, so we're not going to. So let's just go right into all. So we'll go on the outside like that. And let's just kind of do this moon shaped crescent. Uh, and hopefully get some stuff down. There we go. Send it in. Where are we going? Right there. Uh, we're getting targeted by the multi-mortar, and we're just going to go down. It's it's just... It is a bit just too difficult, I think. And, of course, with better uh, attack strategies. Uh, like, probably if we had our bombers maxed... If we had all our troops maxed, it definitely would be a different story, but we're rushing, so we're not, we don't have that, uh, what's it called, uh, privilege to do it. We have a person coming in, this is going to be our first three star, our opponent is going to get a three star on this base. Again, because of the multi-mortar, we were getting three starred before getting the mortar, and once we got the mortar, that was what was, like, really defending us against those three stars and now that we're upgrading this again we're going to be struggling a little bit but like all things you should uh upgrade and with upgrading comes uh what's it called just like in your home village comes with 
uh, the down, uh, the what's it called, the negative part of, of course, taking uh, harder defenses and getting kind of rolled. And that's just kind of what we're going to see here. If we take another loss, I'm going to just uh, cut the video short. Just so that it isn't just a bunch of losses now that we're upgrading the mortar. Because uh, we did what we wanted to do with this episode, upgrade those two things. Then once those two things have been upgraded... Oh, it looks like we might get a defense here. This is not looking too good for our opponent. That mine did not kill the the archers, unfortunately. Oh, but the battle machine is running away, so we might be able to take out these archers. Ooh, it doesn't look like we will. Our uh, archer tower was a bit slow on that. So, without a battle machine, without the multi-mortar, I think we're just going to call it here. Not going to go too much into our next attacks. So we're just going to show the progress that we're making right now. One day upgrade with the Barbarians. Once the Barbarians come, we'll have another 5, 15, that's 50% increase on our armies. And we've been getting pretty easy 50%, so now it's going to get even easier uh, to get those high percentage 2 stars. And then once this is done, uh, we'll definitely go into our cannon carts and our hero here. So... And that is going to be our plan for our elixir. We do need to start using our elixir for uh, the gold storage. Where's the gold storage? The gold storage is here. Uh, we need to use our gold for the elixir over here. But I think this is our best upgrade right now. Um, as time goes on, we're going to upgrade probably... Not the guard post. The guard post is nice for distracting, but I think we're going to start upgrading these archer towers. Or, yeah, probably the archer towers. Maybe some traps, but for the most part, we're just going to be upgrading troops, storages, and whatever big defense uh, we have going. Maybe the crusher even. But I like defending against all raids. Even though this crusher only hits ground, I like to upgrade uh, our archer towers. Just because they hit both, so then we have uh, more defense against two different types of attacks. But, that is going to be the video for today. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.